Hi crypto fans, welcome to CCS Cryptocurrency Tech. My name is Santiago, I'm a web developer and investor. And in today's video, we are going to cover the CTUs, probably airdrop. This is a project built on Aptos and Sui network. So we are going to cover everything a little bit about the project. And we are going to see obviously, like in any video that I do, the step by step on how to participate on this possible airdrop. And also doing this, you are also participating in the Sui testnet airdrop because part of that is going to be on the SWE blockchain. So this is a really interesting project and we are going to cover a little bit on the step-by-step -step of Citus protocol airdrop. Before we begin, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the bell to get the notifications and without anything else, let's go into it. Guys, before going into the step-by-step, -step, remember that I have this airdrop organizer for free. You can go to this video, how to organize your airdrops, and in the description of this video, you are going to have the link to this uh, spreadsheet. You can download it for free or check it here. Here we follow all the airdrops video that I have been doing with all the status of the project and the link of the videos and the step-by-steps that I do. So with this, you are very, very up to date in all the airdrops that I am doing and it's easy for you to do it here. You follow this and you also can check this sprite sheet for follow each of the airdrops in a personal order that you want. So go into the video how to organize your airdrops, download that sprite sheet, it will help you a lot for different airdrops. Now Citus is a liquidity protocol. The best definition of they do is that they are a pioneer DX and liquidity protocol built on Aptos and Sui blockchain. It focuses on delivering the best trading experience and superior capital efficiency to DeFi users through the process of building its concentrated liquidity protocol. So yeah, nothing too much to be surprised according what the protocol does. So in this video, we are going to see the step by step. I think the great thing about the project is that it is built on Aptos and also in Sui. There are a lot of hype around Sui. You can check my video if you didn't do this. The Sweet Testnet airdrop, link on the description. It's 100% free to do because it's on the testnet, so go and do that airdrop too. But doing the steps for Citius, we are going to cover also part of the Sui airdrop too. So stay tuned to this and without anything else, let's go into the step by step. So first of all, to get the possible airdrop, and I always say possible because there's not confirmation of an airdrop, but there are some confirmations from rewards on an NFTs and another rewards. But we are here primarily for the an airdrop of the token that still is not in the market. You need to basically upgrade your role on Discord doing a ser series of things. The roles are in Discord on the channel frequently asked questions and roles. So go to the Discord of the project on Setius. Click here on this channel fre frequently asked questions and roles and you are going to see the different role structures of Setium community and you can check all that here. The idea is that we are going to grow in this type of roles that we have. After going into the Discord, you need to, the first step is go to the crew tree of Setius to complete the task. I will put the link for my affiliate uh, link if you want to support the channel, or if not, you just delete that and that will be the proper link without my refer. But if you use the file, you help me a little bit to get this airdrop too. And in this link, you will see that there are many easy and direct quests to do there. You go up in your level and get a different role in Discord. So once you are there, you are able to connect to Crew3 and you have your uh, user. If you go to account settings, you are going to be able to see and edit uh, your profile. Here you can invite friends and get your referral from here. You also see your rank here, how many you invited and your experience points here to move to the next level and the activity that you have been doing. So first of all, you need to go to quests and do everything that you can do here. You have daily connecting. So if you connect daily here, you get two points of experience. And there are another stuff that I already did, for example, tweet about it or like a tweet. So you need to go here. You have different sections, onboarding, Crew 3 grow, so invite two friends to set you Crew 3. You have Twitter hype, so many things that you need to do in Twitter. 
And each of these tasks, you can see if you can do it once or more than once and the experience point that you get. Probably you are already familiar with Crew 3 because you use it for Zeta Chain and another different airdrops. You have this core and you have a quiz here. This is the most easy stuff because you need to answer questions. This will give you also points of experience. And again, you need to follow everything that you can complete here. And other questions are around the SWE ecosystem. So try to do everything that you can here. That will give you more points of experience. And here you have your leaderboard. So the Cetus protocol crew three quiz is one of the most important things that you need to do for this airdrop. The second step is that Citrus runs on Aptos and SWE. So we are going to go and connect with Aptos wallet first. So go to the application. We need to do a swap, enter into a pool and use the bridge at appsetus.com. So here you have the link on the description. All this information, guys, you are not going to have it in the Google Sheet. You will have in the link of the description to my post on my website, where you are going to see exactly the same information there. So let's go to the app. Here I'm going to connect with a wallet. Uh, I have Pontem and Petra. I am connecting with uh, Pontem. Now you can see that the wallet is connected. So what I'm going to do here in Aptos, connected with Aptos, is I'm going to do a trade. Going to try a minimum trade here. But remember that always uh, for airdrops, if you do with big volume, you usually have more chances for an airdrop. You only need to pay the gas. You can move funds to there. Transactions submitted. You can see the, the swap was successful. And you can see that in your aptoslab.com explorer. So you can see that the transaction was done correctly. So this is in mainnet guys, so you need to have money here to do these transactions. After you do that, you need to go to pools. And the idea is that you add liquidity in any of the pools. And by the way guys, this is important also. You are using here on these pools layer zero. So this is also one of the airdrops that I mentioned. You can click the link here right now that is appearing to do the airdrop of layer zero. It's a big important project. So click here, I will put only one CUSDT here to the pool and I will add it. I think entering to the pool is part of what you need to do for any airdrop, so try to do it. Again, since the transaction was okay, so I already did that. And basically the last thing that you need to do is to bridge something, maybe from the Ethereum network into the Aptos. You can do it here, you connect your wallets here and then you follow these steps. I am not going to do it right now, but it's basically like any other bridge where you move funds from one place to another. And this is powered by Wormhole, so do it here in the Citius uh, Alpha Test. So that will be all guys with the Aptos. We do a swap, we enter liquidity into a pool, and then you bridge something there. The next step, the step three is Cetius also runs uh, in SWE. So we are going to connect now with the SWE wallet now, but in testnet, remember, in testnet, not devnet. So go to the same application. Once you are in the app, you connect with SWE wallet. So be sure to use testnet. And once connected with SWE, click the button on the app request coins. You will get fake coins to do the transactions. So do everything with that. So once we are here, we moved here from Aptos to Sway. Now you can see that it's saying Sway here. Here is the button to request coins once you are connected. So click on connect, select your Sway wallet, and here on your Sway wallet, go here to the hamburger icon and check here on network. Remember, you need to connect it to SwiNet testnet, not devnet. So be sure that you are in testnet. So once you are in testnet, that will be fine and click on request coins you will get all these 3000 coins for free so request that approve it the request coins will success so you already get those tokens and with those tokens you can see i have 200 usdt 200 usdc we sold that we are going to play a little bit here so i will put two usdt into a usdc swap this we are using testnet with fake coins so Everything here is free. Transaction submitted and successful. We already did the swap there. Click OK. Go to pools now. Let's go and enter some liquidity pool here. USDT against USDC. I will put 50. 
add to the pool, confirm supply, confirm and approve. And you can see transaction submitted and successful. Click here on view transaction. So here you can see that we are going into the explorer of Suite.io. And this is in testnet. So we are doing transactions on Suite testnet. This is also good and is part of what I mentioned here on the Suite testnet, but not using Citus. So this will help you also to have transactions on the Suite testnet airdrop. So this is really, really nice. And that's it guys, you do the swap, you use it, your fake tokens on the pool. You cannot do the bridge here because you can bridge from Ethereum into SWE here. So for Aptos only you need to bridge using the wormhole, but for um, but for SWE you only swap and use the pool with the requested tokens that you have here. And lastly guys, follow C2, Aptos and SWE in all their Twitter, Discord and Telegram accounts. Always do that, even if I forget to put it, that always is important. But basically those are the steps that you need to do for this Citius airdrop. Uh, I saw in the Discord that completing the cruelty uh, quest, you have also chances to get free NFTs, that it will have some value. But remember that we are here for the token airdrop, so we are speculating on that. There's no certainty that we are going to be eligible for that, doing all these tasks. But after my research, this is covering almost everything that you can do in this moment, at the moment of recording the video, to get the Citius airdrop. Remember again, guys, go to the organized airdrops uh, spreadsheet so you have organized all your airdrops and your steps. This is free for you, so you can download it or use it online here. You can see there are people connected right now. So this is a great way to visualize everything. And remember that I am working on a DApp, a simple DApp that will help us to organize and do the airdrops on the different projects and also utilizing multiple wallets. So soon I'm going to have an application that if you wanted to have it, you will be able. And that will help us with the airdrop organizer also in a different way to make the airdrops and apply for the airdrops really quickly in all of the videos that I do. Guys, that is all for this video. Remember to follow me at Crypto C State in Twitter. I put things here that are not in my videos. For example, for Evergrow, I retweeted a link uh, for an airdrop and many people uh, got it from there. So I post things there. An update on Cita Chain, I posted in, in Twitter. So you need to check my stuff on Twitter because this was actually important for Cita Chain. So go to Twitter and check this. Uh, and all the updates of the different airdrops I am posting there. Guys, that is all for the video. Remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the bell to get the notifications, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.